what's up guys, CJR here. I'm uh, back in Canada, I just got home from Florida literally an hour ago, and this was the mail packages that, that was awaiting me when I came home. Actually, I had about eight or nine slips that I had to go pick up at the post office. So, I'm in go I am going to open these. Instead of doing a traditional pickups video, it'll be kind of like a mail um, unboxing. Might be a little bit more interesting um, seeing what they are as I open them because I don't remember what half of them are. Um, a lot of these are ordered. A lot of these games I pre-ordered. Some some of these games I pre-ordered three years ago. So, um, we're going to get right into this. I just want to quickly say that there will be a garage sale video coming this Saturday. Um, I'll also be live on Twitch this Saturday at uh, 1 p.m. going through the finds that I picked up that actual Saturday. The video on YouTube that you're gonna see is the video of the stuff I picked up on uh, while I was garage selling in Florida. Those of you who follow me on Instagram or Facebook, uh, links in the below, will have seen um, some of the stuff I picked up, but uh, I got some good footage. And uh, yeah, you'll be able to see that video next Saturday. Uh, what else is happening? I'll be unboxing this uh, our arcade block later this week. I guess that's pickup number one. I won't open that here. Um, the vlogs. Uh, vlogs have been going well. I got two posted while I was in Florida. Feel free to check them out. I'll leave a link. I'm never going to get this right. Here. It's here. I'll leave a link here. You'll see the little card. So uh, yeah, a lot of you have been giving me really good feedback on the vlogs. It's not for everybody. I got somebody t telling me that uh, they were unsubscribing because they didn't come here to watch family videos. Don't watch it. My channel's never going to change. You're going to see unboxings, um, pickup videos, and garage sale videos. It's just I'm going to add a couple different videos here and there. If you're not into it, then just don't watch it. Um, okay, let's get into this. Or it's going to take a long time. I'll start here. Uh, very excited to finally get my first issue. I'm not even sure which issue they're going to be giving me here. Okay, it is the current one. Really happy to get this. Um, this is my first issue of my retro uh, retro gamer magazine subscription. Really happy to see this. And this issue is all about. Uh, it's called Sega's Big Gamble, so it's on um, a, a lot of the peripherals that Sega released instead of doing console upgrades. Also a big special on Rare, I believe. Um, really cool. You can see the sticker price on these. Does it have Canadian? Might not even have it. Sticker price in Canada is like, I think 15 or 16.99. So it actually ended up being $8 an issue. Um, I got a two year subscription. So very happy to get my first retro gamer mag. Uh, it's out of the UK, so it's it, it can be a really expensive magazine. Um, I'm gonna open this here, T Blocks. I haven't really done a T Blocks unboxing for a while. Uh, T Blocks is a monthly mail order shirt service. I'll actually I'll put the link in the description below. Um, and if you use that link, I think you get 15% off. So um, it's ten dollars a month already. Fifteen. Uh, we'll, shave, we'll save some of uh, the shipping for us Canadians, it, and it's a great deal actually for people in the U.S. A Call of Duty Ghost, I believe. Oh no, Black Ops 3. So pretty cool shirt there. I'm I'm not sure. That's probably a clan or uh, some sort of uh, Black Ops team. I'm guessing it's a Black Ops 3 shirt. And you get a couple little extras here. They usually actually really like that sticker. They throw in a couple little stickers just as a bonus, and then usually a comic book, and uh, sometimes some pins. Uh, this month's comic book is Claws. Wolverine and Black Cat actually looks kind of cool. So that's that. Check out T-Box in the uh, description below. I want to open this one just because I don't think this is video game related. But I've been waiting for this for a long time. Yeah, that's it. This is the last jersey I need ever. I have every basketball jersey that I've ever wanted now. I ordered them from AliExpress. They're like 25 between 20 and $25 Canadian. So that's like... 17 18 bucks us and they're absolutely gorgeous as you'll see by this one here and you might already know it it's a michigan state uh magic johnson jersey huge magic johnson fan and i'm actually a pretty big michigan state fan so you can see it's got the hardwood 
uh, classics. Pretty sure I've got the size dialed in. I did gain, I gained so much weight in Florida. I just like to, I'm a huge basketball fan. So uh, in the summer, if I'm just around the, I, I wear them around the house. Um, if I'm at my parents' pool, I'll wear one. But uh, yeah, I don't like go out anywhere wearing basketball jerseys. It's, really, it's not really my thing. I'm not gonna be able to get this off because I'm too chubby, so. Uh, yeah, but you can see it's, it's nice. It's like fully stitched. And uh, like I said, they're super cheap. Okay, I did open the top of this. I was expecting it to be, oh, okay. Um, where is this from? Best Buy, I believe. Best Buy purchase, Star Fox Zero. I tried to sneak down here from the kids to make this video, but I don't think it's gonna work. Um, Star Fox Zero comes with a bonus, Star Fox Guard. It's gotten mixed reviews. Um, I pre-ordered it. I think I only paid like 45 bucks for it. So uh, basically I've said this many times, I, I pre-order and then think later. If I decide I don't want this, I'll just return it to Best Buy. I think I'm actually gonna keep that one. Um, and then I'll open this guy next. Pretty sure I know what this is. Um, Amazon purchase. Oh, there's two things in here. Okay, cool. Uh, first of which is uh, Ratchet and Clank. I've been on holidays. I've been dying to play this. Uh, really looking forward to this. I pre-ordered this game for $29.99 Canadian and 30% off. So I got it super cheap. Uh, pre-ordered it when it was announced like several E3s ago, I believe. Out of breath. And... One of the coolest things, uh, Bravely Second End Layer. Um, you know, if I had got this on the release date and I was here, I might have done an unboxing on this. Probably a little bit too late now. Let me know in the comments below if you guys were able to uh, get your hands on one of these. I, I, from what I know, they're pretty limited. I don't see any um, numbering though. But uh, really happy to get that. I don't buy a lot of uh, collector's editions anymore, but um, as long as the price is reasonable, and I, I really like this one, I'll pick them up. Um, obviously, I'm more inclined to pick up RPG Special Editions. Let's see what this is. Oh, this is a little Lego Darth Vader I picked up for Andrew. Uh, minifigure. I've been buying him these minifigures. Um, I, they end up being like less than a dollar Canadian each. And I put them in a big bag, and then if he's... I bribe him and Teddy. Uh, if they're good, I'll give them a minifigure to put together and play with. So it works out really well. Let's see. Uh, more minifigures. These are Marvel minifigures. Deadpool. Um, Green Lantern Marvel? That's DC. Comic book figures. Uh, they're from AliExpress. They're actually really, really awesome. Nice, really cool figures. Um, I think I got him before I got him the Ghostbusters, the whole Ghostbusters set. <coughs> and this is another AliExpress package. And these are actually Nintendo Wii doors. Um, I believe these were 88 cents each for a set of three doors, which is very handy to have in the parts department because I'll find... Uh, Wii's with um, doors missing and if I want to flip it, it's a little bit hard to do if it's um, not complete. Some of these packages that come from AliExpress are have an extreme amount of tape. I think these are, yeah, these are all screens. Okay, so I've been ordering parts like crazy. AliExpress actually had this anniversary sale and if you use their app, you got like actually a really good amount of um, money off the price. Um, this is a bulk order of original Game Boy replacement screens. I can't remember what I paid, but I think it was around a dollar each, if not less. Another AliExpress package. Um, these are Nintendo cords. Uh, again, I think these were maybe a dollar fifty a piece, and they are the Nintendo Multi, um, you know, Super Nintendo, N sixty four, GameCube cords. Um, I bought these from China lots. Uh, they're clearly they're not as good as the originals, 
never had a problem with any one of them. And for that price, you know, if you find a console that doesn't have one, it's perfect. Doesn't cost you a fortune and you can uh, use the console or flip it, whatever you want to do. Uh, no idea why this is in such a big box. Oh, okay. Um, picked up uh, one Nintendo door, which I, you know, a lot of this stuff I'm just trying for the first time. It's a replacement Nintendo door. See, I noticed how I only ordered one. It was super cheap. I just wanted to see what they look like. And it doesn't have a Nintendo one, so I'm not a big fan. And uh, I ordered a new 72 pin connector, um, which came broken, so that's great. I'm gonna have to get a refund on that. That sucks. Uh, basically, the first batch I ordered were extremely tight. You put the game in there and it wasn't coming out. So I just wanted to order this to see if it was any better. Um, I don't know how, this was clearly broken before they even shipped it to me. I mean, I don't see any way how this could have broken in this box. I think this one, they sent me a broken one and then put it in this big box. I'm guessing to hide the fact that it was already broken before they shipped it. I'll be honest with you, my experience with AliExpress has actually been really good. Um, I order things all the time. I've had one minor issue and it was, it was handled actually really well. Pretty excited about this one. Um, as most of you have seen, I've been ordering the uh, um, EverDrives and stuff like that from AliExpress. I've been really happy with the Super Nintendo, Genesis, and N64. I thought I would take a shot on this, what do they call this, uh, Super Card. This is a GBA, uh, Game Boy Advanced um, EverDrive, I guess. Uh, basically, it's just a GBA card with a, uh, a uh, SD slot and it goes in your Game Boy Advance. This will play original Game Boy, uh, Game Boy Color, and GBA games. I've heard there is some issues with some GBA games, but if it plays Game Boy Color and Game Boy, uh, original Game Boy games perfectly, then um, I'm happy. It was only $27 Canadian, so I thought I would take a shot on one. And uh, I'll let you know how that works out. This feels like another game. Oh my. I'm gonna have to save this for a s uh, No, I, I won't save this. I was not expecting this. I don't know if anybody else has this. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Limited Run Games. Limited Run Games. Um, new and tasty, Oddworld. This is the latest Limited Run Games release on the PS4. Um, check out Limited Run Games in the description below. I'll leave a, I'll leave a link there. Um, and as always, they send you some really cool stickers and stuff. I'll have to post this on Instagram. I haven't seen anybody getting this yet. Thank you so much, guys. I, I did not know this was coming. Um, they, they let me know that they were a fan of my channel and sent me um, the, the, the previous release, uh, Saturday Morning RPG, and I loved it. Um, so thank you so much, guys, if you're watching. Check out Limited Run, like I said. Um, I will probably... I feel like I should do another video on... On this at least. I'm gonna open it though. Maybe I'll do an unboxing. Okay, uh, three more packages. I know what these are. I got a good deal. Um, okay, these are two. Okay, so Best Buy Canada had a deal on these two games while I was in Florida. I was able to, um, after a lot of refreshing, refreshing for a few hours, a bunch of them came in stock, in stock and I was there at the right time. So uh, Until Dawn, 1999 Canadian from Best Buy. Um, I actually ordered two, one for me and my one, one for my buddy Matt. Um, and I didn't think the order went through, so I ordered another one. Wait a minute, okay. Uh, but this time I ordered Bloodborne, which is also 20 bucks. Um, I kind of talked myself into Bloodborne for 20 bucks. I thought like I might want to give it a shot again for that price. 
extremely pumped to play this. I've been waiting for this to hit the right price. So I'm very happy that it finally hit that uh, $20 threshold. I'm, I'm, I'm probably gonna give one away. I'll think of something down the road to give that away. The other one's my buddy Matt's copy. Okay, one last game here. I actually don't know what it is. Oh yeah, <laughs> um, I'm actually anxiously awaiting this one. This is the Sega 3D Classics Collection for the uh, um, 3DS. Um, Sega re is, has been releasing these uh, 3D-ized versions of some of their classic Sega games and they're actually really good. Um, I haven't had a chance, the one I really wanna play is uh, Power Drift, really looking forward to that one. I've heard really good reviews and it's really nice that got a physical release. So I picked that up. Um, that's it. Like I said, stay tuned for the arcade unboxing, unboxing, that will be the next video you see. And then Saturday you'll see a brand new garage sale video. Garage sale season starts full swing this Saturday. So I'll be going out this Saturday. That'll be different from the video that you see because that I am, I'm one week behind. You'll see last week's video this coming Saturday, but you can see me on Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash CJR. I'll leave the link in the description below. At 1 p.m. on Saturday, I'll be down here showing all, showing you guys all the stuff I picked up um, that actual day. Literally, I come in, flip on Twitch, and I go through all the stuff that I found and tell all the stories behind it. So check it out. I'll leave a link in the description below. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to all the new subs. Thank you to everybody who's stuck with me through the uh, dark winter months when I um, get my, you know, I'm kind of struggling for. Uh, things to put up. My channel is going to be much better for the next couple months. Uh, lots of stuff going on, uh, garage sale videos, pickups, that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys, and until the next episode.